the general form of the equation of a line. So we've looked at two, uh, two forms thus far of the equation of a line, the slope-intercept form and the point-slope form. In this video, we're going to look at a third form of the equation of a line called the general form. Our objective, recognize the general form of an equation of a line and use it to graph the line using intercepts. So this is when, it, when a line is in general form, it has two primary uses, one of which is to graph it using intercepts. The other of which uh, is useful when you're solving a system of equations if the line is in general form and you're using addition, but that's a whole other topic. Okay, we're gonna be using the general form to graph the line using intercepts. So what do we know coming in that's gonna be helpful? We know what the slope is, a measure of a line steepness calculated as the slope, m, is equal to the change in y over the change in x. In shorthand, slope is equal to change in y over change in x. We know the point-slope form of the equation of a line, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, where m is the slope of the line, and x1, y1 is the point, is any point on the line, a point the line passes through. And finally, we know the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line. It is y equals mx plus b. m again is the slope, and in this case, the b is the y-intercept, where the line crosses the y-axis. Let's recap here a little bit what we've done. Okay, our point-slope form, used when given two points. Very useful, you're given two points, you can quickly find the slope, and then you can quickly put it into slope, excuse me, point-slope form. Or, if you're given the slope and a point that is not the y-intercept, you can use the point-slope form. The slope-intercept form, very useful for graphing, particularly with many of the graphing devices out there, that ask you to graph in a y equals format. Okay, graphing by hand, we start with the y-intercept, and then we use the slope, written as a fraction, to plot a second point. So here is the general form of the equation of a line. It is ax plus by plus c equals zero. Sometimes people also call this a general form where they, they take C and move it to the right side by subtracting C from both sides. And so AX plus BY equals C. You'll often see some people refer to that as the general form. In general, haha, the X's and the Y's are together on one side of the equation and that takes place in both of these. A, B, and C are real numbers, so the coefficients are real numbers and A and B cannot be zero, otherwise you've, you've created horizontal or vertical lines. It is an easy form from which, to, from which to graph using intercepts. The slope-intercept form is an easy form from which to graph using the y-intercept and the slope. This form, you simply use the y-intercept and the x-intercept, so x and y-intercept. Okay, let's do a couple. All righty. Okay, let me get my notes set up here. Okay, example one. Find the slope and y-intercept of the line whose equation is 3x plus 2y minus 4 equals 0, and then graph the line. Okay, now, in this example, I gave you the equation of the line in general form, and I want to find the slope and the y-intercept, okay, which means I'm looking for the slope-intercept form, which is the solve for y form. Okay, so let's start here with the general form, 3x plus 2y minus 4 equals 0. Make my equal sign a little clearer. And let's solve for y. So we have 2y equals negative 3x plus 4. 
Now I'll divide both sides by two. Y equals negative three halves. Again, notice I put the negative with the Y, the uh, numerator, because I'm gonna fall three times X, and this is plus two. I divided this by two and divided this by two. So here is the slope intercept form. And we wanted to find the slope in the y-intercept, so it made sense to put it in the slope-intercept form. The slope is negative 3 over 2, and the, the y-intercept b is 2. Okay, so let's graph it. Again, it's easy to graph in the slope-intercept form. Okay, so let's take a look. This is my x-axis and my y-axis. My y-intercept is positive two, so we'll go up two and put a point. The slope goes down three and then runs two, so we'll go down three, so this is a negative three, and then we're going to run two and put a point right here, and then we simply need to connect those right there, and there's the line. Now notice, uh, while I gave you the general form of the equation of the line, we did not graph it using intercepts. In this case, we wanted to find the slope and the y-intercept, so we solved for y to get the slope and the y-intercept, and then we graph using slope and, and intercept. In example two, we're gonna do the exact same problem, but we're gonna graph it using intercepts, okay? So here is the same problem. The, the equation is 3x plus 2y minus 4 equals 0. But now we're asked to find the intercepts and use them to graph the line. Oh, x-intercept and y-intercepts gives us two points. Okay, so the x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. Okay, so let's take my equation and let's put 0 in for y. So 2 times 0 minus four equals zero. And we can pretty quickly see that this, when y is zero, the y term disappears. It's multiplied by zero. So we have three x is equal to four, and x is equal to four thirds. Okay, so the x-intercept, the location on the x-axis where the line crosses is four thirds. As a point, that's 4 thirds comma 0. Again, y is 0, so there's your 0 for your y. Now let's do our y-intercept. In this case, we know a y-intercept is found when x is equal to 0. So we're going to put 0 in for x. Okay, so this is 2y is equal to 4. And of course, divide both sides by 2. y is equal to 2. So my y-intercept is the point zero, two. Okay, so I have two points. This point is on the x-axis, hence it's called the x-intercept. This point is on the y-axis, so it's the y-intercept. Y-intercept, excuse me. Very quick to graph. Once I draw my axes, okay. X-intercept, four-thirds, zero, so one, two, that's approximately here. That's four thirds, one and a third, give or take. Y-intercept is two, so one, two. That's right here. Uh, let's see here, yep, uh, one, two. So those are my two intercepts, and I simply need to connect them. And I have graphed it using intercepts. Now notice this graph, okay, it crosses at two here and crosses just past one. A little bit different looking than this graph here, but we, we use the y-intercept and the slope-intercept form. And then you can see, again, with my drawing by freehand, it's crossing between 1 and 2. So, and it's, we know it's 4 thirds. It's, it's, we know the value is 4 thirds. My drawing appears to be slightly off. Looks like I'm a little bit closer to 1 and a half in this, in this drawing, but it should be right about there. The same thing as below. So there you have it. You've seen all three forms and uh, discovered what all three forms are useful for.